From day one, LEGO said, this game is about the community. Well, this is our second big LUP event. The first one was about their ideas and what, what was their vision. If you had an empty palette, what would LEGO Universe be? Um, and we really fed off of that and they built a lot of amazing stuff that we still have around here that still motivates, I think, the team even today. Now the game's progressed enough and now it's about them actually making their worlds in the game. And this is kind of our first time of someone besides us actually really getting in there and making their own stuff. You know, many of them are lead engineers at all these major, you know, aeronautical engineering companies. And, you know, during the day they have a very serious, uh, difficult job and they take that same engineering approach to how they build things and it's, um, it's amazing. LUPS are LEGO Universe partners and they work with us on developing the game and developing tools to actually put content into the game. And so they're very passionate about it and they just bring another viewpoint from what LEGO Company brings. And so we, we look at it as they really are part of a 360 strategy to bring the LEGO use into the online space. I mean, the humor that these guys bring in is just amazing. Uh, and it, it inspires us in turn to be a little bit more looser with our designs and you know not take things seriously and that really helps actually bring out the humor in Lego. Am I impressed with what they're doing? There's no question. No, they're, they're amazing people. They've had access to our tool set for, what, a day? You know, the, they first learned how to use it in a three and a half hour class yesterday and, and they've got terrain, they've got, uh, you know, texturing, they've got water, they've got enemies, they've got everything in the world they could possibly imagine. I mean, we've got guys trained on this stuff for over a year now. And these guys pick it up just like nothing. It's it's really impressive. Now we're at the point where we're finally getting hold of the tools to build the game proper as opposed to just models to be used in the game, which is where we've been so far. We work in groups of usually six to ten. It's fun, it's hard work, but at the end of the day, it's, it's for the kids and for the community. And I think they're going to be really happy with what everybody's put their heart and soul into and in turning out. You imagine a kid from Thailand and one from Singapore and one from Denmark and one from Brazil and one from Canada, all building with bricks on the exact same house or bridge or tower. And it's fantastic. All LEGO play themes are somewhere in LEGO Universe to be discovered and explored. I mean, you're going to see pirates, you're going to see ninjas, you're going to see robots, you're going to see underwater stuff, you're going to see city things. It's busy, chaotic, bustling, you know, cities full of, you know, minifigs running to and fro on their little missions, and then dark, dangerous Indiana Jones-style jungles. This place, this game world, is going to be a, a rallying point for LEGO enthusiasts of every age and every nationality. The fun that we had in creating this uh, will be seen in the LEGO universe later on. I think you can see that we had fun building this. The world itself, the bricks that you use, the buildings that you make, the people that you interact with, the friends that you can get, I mean, it's just, it's endless. Everything is possible. I hope so. <laughs>